Joining us now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to be in the co-main event of Shamrock FC coming up. Uh, Shamrock FC 275 coming up on September the 9th is Trevor Ward, who's 5-3 in his career. He's going to take on Arion Zeki. Trevor, uh, appreciate time. It's been some time since we've had the opportunity to talk, and, and obviously the last two uh, fights ha- have not gone your way. So, uh, you know, what, what's the training camp been like for this fight, you know, with your last two fights not going your way? Um, it's been good, you know, uh, the first three or four months since that fight, I, uh, did a lot of weight training and then, um, actually moved down to Jackson, Jackson Wink MMA and, uh, I've been going hard training wise now. So, I mean, it's, a, it's been, a the best camp since, since I turned pro, you know, it's cause I, I've never had a team. Um, I finally have a team and it's one of the best in the world. So what yeah, I'm ready to go. What made you decide that Jackson Wink MMA Academy was the best place for you to be? Um, it was just, everything worked out, man. You know, it all fell in place and packed my stuff up and headed out. <laughs> was, so, was it something that, faith, was it something your management had suggested to you or maybe did you have a mutual no, connection that no. kind of put it together? I didn't have any connections whatsoever, man. I literally, after that last fight, whenever I was, uh, my body failed on me, you know, I was cramping up and wasn't myself. I knew I had to get a team around me. I knew I had to get a, a coach for once, you know, so packed my stuff up and took off. So what's it been like for you just, uh, you know, I, I guess how much of it has just been a, an adjustment period for you from, you know, moving out to New Mexico, not being in a familiar surrounding? I mean, is, is adjustment the right word to, to uh, characterize it as? Do what you say? Would, would it, the, the term adjustment be kind of the best way to describe what oh. the past couple months has been like for you? It has been a little adjustment, especially at the beginning, because I was living in the dorm rooms. But um, no, man, they're they're it's like a family down here. You know, they're all close together. Everyone gets together, and it's a uh, it's a good time. You know, I really uh, I really enjoy it. I I thought I would miss my family and friends a lot more, but um, but I made some here. You know, so it's uh it's it was an adjustment at first, but now it feels like home. In terms of, you know, obviously I know you, you always go back and, and you look at your fights and you're more going to look at, at the negative sides of fights as opposed to positives, but is, is there anything you can pull out of your last two fights that you could say were positives or is it or is it one of those things of that's in the past and I'm not even thinking about the past anymore? Uh, positive from you know, I, I learned, you know, I've learned. Um, cardio is huge. You know, cardio and uh, what kind of condition you're in that's all one thing you can control in a fight um everything else is just it's gonna happen you know so uh you know Kendrick Latchman that was the first time I've ever stood up for 15 minutes ever you know and, and my body failed on me so um and I still did it you know I was 45 seconds left and the referee asked me to get up I said I couldn't um but the Jared Brooks fight um I learned that I needed to get up from the bottom you know and I have learned a lot of wrestling since I've been here um I feel as if my stand-up's the best it's ever been. So, uh, yeah, I did learn a lot from those last two fights. Uh, that's positive, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously you're you're always learning. But uh, when you think about some of the things you've learned since going out to Albuquerque, and obviously uh, there's you know a ton of great fighters in that gym, a, a ton of great coaches. Is there one thing that sticks out to you? Maybe it's maybe is it just seeing how other fighters, how they, you know, schedule out their day and understanding what you need to do to, to uh, take your game where you want it to be? Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of. Um, the one thing I have learned is wrestling. You know, I've never had any wrestling. It's the first time, you know, I've ever wrestled before in my life. So uh, that this was huge for me when it comes to wrestling. Um, I really needed it. I don't, I don't think there's anything better than that right now that, that's happened to me. You know, I got the best wrestling coaches. Some of them, Izzy from Chicago, you know, he's one of the best in the world. Um, so that's the one thing, one really, really, really good thing that that's came from this for sure. Uh, when it comes to my scheduling, you know, I've always had good work ethic or good, uh, you know, what, what I need to do to get in shape. And um, I've never really lacked shape until these last two fights. You know, I was working 50-hour work weeks, and, uh, you know, they killed me, man. I, I didn't have the energy or the time, you know. So um, I, my my shape is there, my cardio is there, my wrestling's there. I'm not going to be cutting as much weight. Um, you know, I have no excuses for this one. I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to go. And taking on a fighter here who's making his pro debut, uh, Arion Zekti. 
Um, first off, have you been able to find a lot of footage of your opponent? And if so, what's your thoughts on his abilities as a fighter? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have um, watched some of his fights, looked up his record. Uh, you know, he's talked a lot of smack lately. Um, I really kept my mouth shut, and I'm going to continue to keep my mouth shut. He screwed up when he told me he was going to outclass me eight weeks ago. You know, you don't give a guy who's had 20-some fights that that motivation. You know, he, he fed my hunger, and um, I'm hungry as ever right now, and I'm ready to make a run at this. Uh, uh, he's never fought anyone as tough as me. He's never, mm-hmm. he's never had anyone in the ring that's as tough as I am. I've seen his record was well, he knocked out Henry Hoffman. No offense to Henry Hoffman, but he's my training partner for about two years, and he has nothing for me, so. I mean, Contavious was he, he's he's good, but he's really one dimensional. You know, I am not a one dimensional fighter, especially anymore. You know, my game is all around. Everywhere the fight goes, I'm gonna have something for him. Yeah, when I, when I talk to Ariana, I, I think confidence is, is something that he definitely doesn't lack there. And and uh, you know, obviously he he had some trash talking thing there. When you, when you have a an opponent um, that you know says you know says things to you, is it just is it just simply of like game on you just you thank you for the bulletin board material <laughs> kind of i mean i i'm not a trash talker you know I, I i'm one of those guys that show respect to receive respect so um you know uh it it doesn't like i've had people talk crap to me way worse than he has so i mean it doesn't bother me whatsoever bill friday was a huge crap talker you know they they talk smack all at that fight and i ended up whooping his ass so um you know i'm not Talk shit all you want, man. It doesn't matter when that door door closes. There's no talking. Do you almost kind of find that to be of it's he's putting all the pressure on himself because of that, and it just it, it can I mean, potentially lead to a mistake. To You're right. He does have to live up to it. You know, he has to back it up. I'm not. I don't talk any smack. Like I said, I'm not not a shit talker. Uh, it gets you nowhere in life, really, unless you're selling big pay per views. You know where. We're trying to sell a little local regional show. So, I mean, there's no really reason to trash talk, and hopefully he learns that through his career and he learns some respect. And obviously uh, trying to get back on the winning side of the fight here, do you do you have a chip on your shoulder right now? I mean, is that a way you would characterize kind of how you, you're feeling going into this fight? I did at first, you know, after these last two losses. But, I mean, look at my losses, you know. I mean, Ishwatari is the world champion. I fought for a world title already. I've proved myself. I was ranked number one in the world as an amateur. I have no chip on my shoulder. I don't regret anything. Um, you know, I'm I'm here. You know, I'm alive and and healthy, and I'm living my dream. And not too many people get to do that. And I've already proved myself to everyone. You know, I've made it to the top of the top of the list already. So whatever happens now, I'm, I fight for fun. You know, I fight for fun. I love it. I enjoy it, and I think it makes the world a better place. That's the one thing I fight for, and that's the only reason why I fight for. I don't fight to go make people bloody and everything. No, I fight because it, it's made me the person I am today, and I, I love the person I am today, and I love how it makes other people, I, it inspires people. You would, know? You, would, you, yes. would you say you're having more fun now because of the changes you have made? Definitely, definitely. You know? I mean, it's, it's a dream come true, you know. It doesn't matter what happens in any fights from here on out. It doesn't, you know, I, I'm going to wake up and I'm 80 years old and live with no regrets. You know, that's, that that was my main concern, and that's why I packed my stuff up and came out here. And, of course, uh, your fight coming up here on September 9th, taking on Arion Zekti. This is the co-main event of the fight card. Final thing, Trevor, as always, I really do appreciate time. How do you, how do you see this fight going down? Um, I don't really know. Like I said, man, there's not, nothing you can control in a fight uh I'm well rounded. I'm well prepared. Um, no matter where the fight goes on the ground, you guys know I can finish that and stand up. You know I can, I can bang. So uh, you guys know I'm coming to fight. <laughs> That's all I can really say. You have to tune in and uh, check it out and see how it finishes. Trevor, man, really appreciate time. Good luck in the fight, man. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it.